This lesson covers finding factors and multiples, particularly the greatest common factor or the least common multiple. Okay, first, I always tell my students that they need to think four factors, facts for a number. So what we do is I say factors and they say facts for a number. Factors, facts for a number. Factors, facts for a number. The more they say it, the more, the more they associate multiplication facts with factors because they have a really hard time keeping multiples and factors separated. So factors, facts for a number. Now for multiples, we think count by. Multiples, count by. Multiples, count by. So first, let's find the greatest common factor, or the GCF. Let's say I have 9 and 24. The first thing that I'm going to do for each number is I'm going to list all the factors for each number. Well, a factor is facts for the number. Multiplication facts that will equal that number. So ways that I can multiply to equal 9 are 9 times 1 and 3 times 3. And they really need to make sure that they have all their factors listed for each number. Now they're going to think 24. Greatest common factor for 24. First they list their factors, the ways that they can multiply to get 24. They could say 24 times 1. They can say 12 times 2. 8 times 3 and 6 times 4. So now that we have all of our factors listed, all the ways to multiply to get the top numbers, now we're going to find what the biggest number they both have listed is. Well, they both have a 1 listed, and they both have a 3 listed. So our greatest, our biggest number that they both, common, both, have is a 3. So their greatest common factor is 3. Let's do one more. Let's say I have these two numbers, 15 and 22. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to list the factors for both numbers, all the ways that I can multiply to get each number. I can get 15 by saying 1 times 15 or 3 times 5. I can multiply to get 22 by 1 times 22 or 2 times 11. Now I need to look and find the greatest number that they both have listed. Well, they both have a 1, and that's it. This will happen sometimes. It throws kids off really bad when 1 is their greatest common factor, but that happens. So it's okay if their greatest common factor is 1, and in this case it is. Now let's move on to least common multiple, or the LCM. Least common multiple. Let's say we have 8 and 10 and I want to find the least common multiple. Kids are very, very quick to want to multiply these two numbers. Sometimes that works, sometimes that does not. So I don't want them to get in the habit of saying 8 times 10 is 80, so 80 is my least common multiple, and here's why. If we actually list the multiples, 8, and by the way, we're counting by these numbers. We're going to think count by, so we're just going to count by these numbers, count by 8s, 8, eight 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. Now let's try 10 and see if we can get close. We're going to take 10. We're counting by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40. And they can stop because I've already gotten to a number that they both have in common. So if your students multiply 8 times 10, the answer would be 80, and that's not the least common multiple for these two numbers. The least common multiple is 40. So I want them to do the work. I want them to start listing the factors, uh, not the factors, the multiples out, and seeing which is the smallest multiple that they both have in common. Let's do one more. Let's say we have 6 and 9. Again, Please make sure that they're not multiplying these two numbers. That's, that seems to them like the logical thing to do, but that will not work for these two numbers. First thing I do is I write my multiples for 6. And to write multiples, we're counting by 6's. 6, then 12, then 18, then 24, then 30, then 36. Now let's list our multiples for 9. 9, then 18 than 27. Now most students will already say stop because they see that the two that the numbers that both of them have 
is 18. Okay, I hope this helps with least common multiple and greatest common factor. I highly suggest that you watch the video on divisibility rules to help with listing the factors. That is a big skill in fourth grade. It's something that they really struggle with. So please watch the divisibility rules as well. Thank you.